Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you've got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Tar Heels, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. Number one, Hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Second, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. And finally, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket. Grab the glass. Get after the boards. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. And the ball goes out of bounds. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Pressure that basketball, help one another communicate. They get out on the break. Kicks it out. Garrison handles the pass. He unloads. He hits the shot. Let's get another look, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. He fires away. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. it in. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two and off the mark. Vickers handles the feed from the top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The skip pass is picked off. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Count it. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. <clears throat> Trying to draw some contact. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Trying to go inside. For two. 
I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He up fakes. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. He gets it to fall. Garrison is emotionally fired up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. He shoots from the top of the key. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. The center receives the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. They look to get it to the inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Try to feed inside. He intercepts it. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Number 32 fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. He can't get the hoop to fall. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Wall receives the pass. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. He makes the shot. Good job defensively. Fast break possibility coming. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. 
He shoots from the top of the key. Drains the shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Picks off the lazy pass. Tries for two. He gets that one to fall. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Watch the replay, Brad. That ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, and he scores despite the hack. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. He gets the foul off the pro hop. He was going full steam ahead on that move. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate, too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Blue heaven because of the wall-to-wall -wall Carolina Blue inside the Dean Dome. Well, that's not it, though. This numerous championship banners, retired jerseys, over 21,000 fans on occasion. It's a special place. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Way off target. Makes the shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He makes a nice shot fake. Squares up, down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. He gets the rejection. Great shot. Let's go to the videotape for that one. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around a fadeaway. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. 
North Carolina are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. From left of the circle, Patterson shows his range. There's a double team waiting there. Up fake. He shoots from left of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's still close, and it's very early, but there needs to be some sense of urgency on the favorites' bench tonight so this one doesn't get out of hand, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. We'll get a better look on the replay. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. High post screen. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the post up high. Foul charge. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He steps up to the line. First shot, good. Rims off. Kept alive, though, offensive rebound. He gets the shot to fall. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Fakes a jumper. For the bucket. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, faded away, impossible to block. He rejects it. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby. He missed on the steal, that's gonna be the offense's game. Yes, sir, they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Let's it fly. Gets it to go. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Knocks it down. We didn't see that again, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the angle, way off target, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot, but he missed the shot. Leans in. Up, easy one. Three, three. 
Controlling the ball. The center has gone wild. Welcome to Chip. That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Drawing the foul and finishing the hoop. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. On the outside, he puts up the tray. North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. They work the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from long range. Buried it. In the paint. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Takes the pass in the paint. Hard foul. And he'll kick it back outside. Launches away. Goes in. the bucket in and out working it around the perimeter number 22 is called for the foul 15 foul Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. North Carolina are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. Gave it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Here's a double team. Got a man in high post. Pump fakes. The shot from the baseline. There was no doubt about that one. From the top of the circle. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 32 draws the personal. Number 32 steps up to the line. First shot is no good. Terrible free throw. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys.
Double team now, bad angle. There's a high screen. Tries for two. Sinks it. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Seven on the shot clock. And they get the turnover. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Steal. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Daddy's on fire. At the half, the Yellow Jackets are up by one. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. North Carolina turned the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just are in it again. Some of the turnovers were unforced. They're playing silly, if you ask me. Dick, this has got upset written all over it. A team that's not supposed to win versus a team who's supposed to win. That means one thing. The lower-ranked team has nothing to lose. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he misses the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He drains the bucket. They scored 10 in a row. The center is going crazy. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. There's the pick. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. The center takes the feed. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. There they come with a double team to stop it. He's got a high post flasher. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Tries to get the D to bite. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. High post screen. So effective that screen. North Carolina have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Dick.
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Only the replay can do this justice. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. There's the pick. There's the roll. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? He faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. The center has gone wild. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. There's the trap. Kicks it out. He fouled him. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Foot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. It sticks. Goes out of bounds. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Got a nice screen for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. They're going to move it around the perimeter for the bucket. Up and in. Ball handlers in trouble. But inside. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So you say, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes away the pass. Great anticipation. That's great court savvy to get in the way of that pass. Tries for two. You betcha. And clean. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. That's one of the best parts of college. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. That's 
spin move is not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Unloads a three. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the threes, Brad. The Tar Heels have a player spotting up on the three. They work it around the perimeter. For two, perfectly executed. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Looking for contact. Easy one. Pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Picked off. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. The Tar Heels often recruit really athletic players, and they aren't afraid to travel the globe to find them. Well, you know, I'm not sure if they recruit them, but there always seems to be a few of them on their roster. And the ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. In the paint. What a response. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He bombs from outside, way off target. Basket falls despite the contact. Steals the pass. For the bucket, he nails the shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six-man for no reason. 
Concentration. Got to concentrate. Boy, Rick sure. City. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron. Well, Dick and Brad, remember, heading into tonight, there was a lot of questions about the favorites ranking. But after this comeback, it seems like they're pretty worthy of that spot. All right, thanks, Aaron. On the dribble, gives it up. He lets it go. Got it. Show me that one again. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Step out of that screen. He rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but the win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Momentary look from three-point land. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Robs him of the ball. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes it off him. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. You're going to be seeing this one all week. the perimeter for the deuce Georgia Tech are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense very soft defensively no pressure on the basketball and with that there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively the center takes the pass number 22 steals the ball Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. He gets it to fall. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. For the bucket, the lay -in. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Isn't it great, Brad? The power forward gets the pass. He shoots from right of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Tar Heels are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Gave it up. 
Here's a double team. He buries the shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Georgia Tech are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Fakes the shot. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Goes up for two. Easy one. a good block out and that's essential in the post a lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position he tries the three he gets the bucket to fall They're working around the perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter he strokes it. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork. and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. And he'll kick it back outside. He pulls the trigger. He buries it. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. Gave it up. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Go back in front by two. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. For the bucket. He gets it to go. Some time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. And I think she's right about that, Richie. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Throws it up from downtown. That's good. Might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York.
There's the fake. They work it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. They work it around the arc. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. He is going to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Gets it. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. They've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. He goes for three. Got it. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. A high screen. This is the big time. He got it for the win. Unbelievable, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, they're dancing with joy. Is he going to be the BMOC? Big man on campus. He wanted the rock, Brad. Oh, they're celebrating. It's going to be a wild time on the campus tonight. North Carolina loses in this very well-matched game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.